from March 9th to March 30th, the Queens County Arts Council is having a month-long exhibition featuring visual artists Sally Clark, Rick Kahn, and Joan Newby. The exhibition is called Wild Domestic Wearable. On March 8th, the Arts Council held a reception to kick off the exhibit that was free and open to the public. One of the best parts of going to an event like this is you get a chance to meet the artists. We talked to all three artists, but in this video we're going to talk to Joan Newby, the jeweler. My name is Joan Newby and I'm showing my handmade sterling silver and 14 karat gold filled wire and gemstone jewelry. Wow, how do you get, and these are very complicated pieces of art, how do you get the ideas for them? I'm usually inspired by the beads that I'm working with or uh, a lot of times I use vintage, uh, refound, repurposed objects that kind of gives me the inspiration, uh, what I want to see it as. You have quite a range of size here, this enormous blue piece, <laughs> which we're calling it now, and then the small um, um, earrings too, how does that all work? And I'm sorry, and are these sets? Um, well, the, the large blue necklace is by itself. Right. The necklace, or excuse me, the bracelet and earrings next to it are a set. Uh, for themselves right. and I do try and make them in a variety of sizes because people come in different sizes <laughs> so some things are more delicate some are big and bold and that's kind of what I like I kind of mix it up tell us about the crabs uh, the crabs I actually have it here uh, it was featured in the small work show in January uh, to benefit the art center and I did a smaller version for this show uh, just, I call it a crab trap, it, kind of like the crab is trapped amongst the sterling right, yeah. silver wire. Very intricate stuff. Well, thank you. <laughs> Are you working all the time? I mean, do you always have a project going? Yes, this is a full-time job for me, so I'm working at this every day, every night. <laughs> There's always something to do, and it's uh, part of the creative process. I'm always thinking up new ideas. You must uh, love seeing your work on be worn by other people. Yes, it's a great satisfaction to know that somebody has purchased a piece and is enjoying it. All right, tell us about your website. Uh, my website is jonesgems.com, and there is a variety of pieces. Um, not quite everything you see here. A lot of things are one of a kind, uh, but I do have a variety of items available for purchase on my website. Well, that was our interview with Joan the Jeweler. Just a reminder, the Wild Domestic Wearable Exhibition at the Queen Anne's County Arts Council will run from March 9th to March 30th, so head over to Centerville and check out some of this art. We also talked to Sally Clark and Rick Kahn at the exhibition. We'll post those videos over the next week. If you want to learn more about the Queen Anne's County Arts Council, you can always visit their website at www.artsforyou.info. Thanks again for watching.